Western Michigan faced off with NCHC leader St. Cloud last weekend in a two-game series at Lawson Ice Arena in Kalamazoo. Friday night, senior forward Aiden Muir returned to the lineup after missing the last two months with injuries and scored two goals to lead the Bronco offense. St. Cloud scored in the closing seconds of the third period, though, sending the game into overtime. Tied at five after the overtime, the Broncos picked up a point in the standings, while the Huskies got the extra point, scoring in the three-on-three -three double overtime. On Saturday night, the Broncos once again had a one-goal lead in the third period on goals by Josh Pasalt and Dawson DiPietro in the second period. But St. Cloud scored three times in the third and skated off with a 4-2 victory. I'm Robin Huck. Coming up, head coach Andy Murray joins me for all the highlights of Western Michigan and St. Cloud from Lawson Arena in Kalamazoo on this edition of Bronco Review after this timeout. Bronco Review is a production of Western Michigan University Athletics and WMU Media Services and is brought to you in part by Greenleaf Trust, financial security from generation to generation. Trust is in their name for a reason. They've earned it. You may wonder how we pack all that great taste into just 96 calories. Well, that's a mystery you don't need to solve. You just get to enjoy. Spelled different because it's brewed different. Being a member at Arbor Financial Credit Union is the relationships and personal attention you get from our helpful and knowledgeable staff. But we realize you don't always have time for that. With Arbor Financial's secure mobile app, you can quickly check your balance, pay a bill, deposit a check, or find an ATM. In between, well, everything else. Visit us online at arborfcu.org for more information. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Are you considering home improvements? You should consider BlackBerry. BlackBerry has completed several home improvement projects in our neighborhood, so when we were ready for 20 new replacement windows, we called BlackBerry. They completed the project on time and their workmanship was outstanding. Our friends are amazed and we love the transformation of our home both inside and out with our new windows from BlackBerry Home Improvement Specialists. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. When I grow up, I'm going to redefine pizza. One that will change the history of pizza forever. A pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni. This is my dream, and I can do it. Because my mom and dad said I can accomplish anything. And I will do great things in life. Sorry, kid. It's been done. But my dream... Introducing Little Caesars Extra Most Bestest Pizza. A large pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni for just six bucks. Pizza, pizza. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Auto Group. We know that car buying is a journey, not just a destination. We know that we need to be there each step of the way for you through parts, sales, service, through your entire ownership experience. At Maple Hill Auto Group, we look at every customer, not as a single purchase, but rather as a start to a journey that we hope spans generations. Maple Hill Auto Group, for a journey like no other. From the right side, Broncos hold it in. Driving the net, Aiden Muir on his backhand, scores! Aiden Muir ties the game at one! Aiden Muir back in the lineup for the Broncos and the senior forward delivered twice Friday night with two goals as uh, the Broncos take on the St. Cloud Huskies at Lawson Ice Arena. And Andy, it was great to have Aiden Muir back in your lineup. Well, great to have him in the lineup and great to have him in the dressing room as well. Aiden has matured so much as a player and as a person during his time here at Western. and We missed his leadership in the room for sure. and came through with a couple of big goals for us as well. He, he sure did. And the Broncos and St. Cloud going at it in uh, two games at Lawson Arena. It was a food drive weekend, collected a lot of food for the pantry at Kalamazoo Lowe's and Fishes, and two great crowds at Lawson Arena for the Broncos who are winding up their home schedule. Uh, your last two games coming up this weekend. At That's home. right, and, and it was just a great atmosphere for both nights. Uh, you know, the crowd was energetic. The Lots of Lunatics were out in full force, and it's just a tremendous place to play, and it really inspires our team. We're playing the number one team in our league and, and, and in the country, and uh, our guys battled them tooth and nails for two nights. Both games you had the lead in the third period, Andy, and uh, could have been a lot different. Yeah, I wish you wouldn't remind me of that there, Robin, but uh, we certainly did, and obviously we've got to find a way to, to finish it off. Uh, you know, we had a lot of young guys get an opportunity to play this weekend. That's going to help our program as we move along, but we've got to learn to win uh, when we're leading. Obviously, one goal leads in both games, and Friday night 
you know, giving up the lead with about 40 seconds left was, was real tough. But, you know, I, I liked our compete level. I liked the senior leadership that we had as well. And, you know, our guys were battling in both games. Aiden Muir scored that first goal, and then Paul Stoikowicz puts you up uh, just seconds later, and you're on top two to one. Well, that line of Richards and all, Paul Stoikowicz and Aiden Muir was outstanding on Friday night. I mean, you have a junior and two seniors playing, and, you know, they used that experience. They really maintained great puck possession in their zone, took the puck to the net hard here, and here we're seeing some great examples of us taking the puck to the net as well. Their goaltender was uh, solid, obviously, both nights. The Broncos had a lot of young players in the lineup, Andy. Uh, you were playing eight, nine freshmen both nights. Well, we got nine players, uh, freshmen, into the lineup, and obviously, you know, Austin Kane got the start and, you know, on the second night. And, uh, you know, it's, it's something we've been working on. We knew coming into the year we were going to be a young team. We didn't necessarily feel that we'd have all nine in at once. But, you know, when you've got injuries or people sick, that's the way it works out. A five-goal first period when you combine uh, both teams scoring. You know, both teams have that pension for being able to generate offense. St. Cloud's always been a highly uh, rated offensive team, and our team this year certainly shown the ability to score as well. You had split with St. Cloud earlier in the season at their place. And in very high-scoring game there, the first night we won 7-5. And, uh, you know, our, our guys, we, we've got the ability to, to get pucks in that, to uh, get to the paint area, and, you know, did a good job of that. Maybe didn't finish some of the chances we wanted on the weekend that could have extended that one-goal lead to a two-goal lead. Second period highlights now, and they outshot you 18 to six. They had some power play opportunities. Well, they period. did, and you know, again, uh, you know, we're we're at fault for that, and uh, you know, the coach has done a poor job of getting a handle on some of our uh, lack of discipline situations, and, and putting St. Cloud on the power play is not a not a great idea. But there, we just showed our team again getting the puck to the net. Aiden Muir scoring, they reviewed it and ruled it a good one, and it's a tie hockey game. Well, they seem to uh, have to look at every goal on the weekend there for whatever reason, and obviously that's the way the game's being called now. But, you know, some great, great puck movement there on their part, and, you know, Ben Blacker was up to the task. This is the number one team in the NCHC, and they're, they're number one this week in the college hockey polls. Well, they, they've got everything. I mean, they've got two goaltenders who have tremendous statistical numbers. They're good on the power play. Uh, some real good defensemen and some outstanding forwards. So, you know, they've done a great job of, of developing players and, and recruiting quality talent as well. After that five-goal first period, Andy, the uh, two teams combined for just the one goal in the second period, that Ada Muir goal that we just saw. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was, uh, it was a grind out there. Uh, you know, there was some offense in the first period, but certainly both teams settled down, and it was a, a defensive battle in a lot of scenarios. All right, uh, play continuing in the second period, and you did a good job holding them out of the net with those 18 shots, and Ben Blacker was solid in the second period. He really was, you know, and, and you know, there's a couple of goals in that first period that I'm sure Ben would, would like to have back, but he settled into the game, and, you know, certainly going all the way through to the third period, he'd made some big saves for us. Lunatics, best uh, student section in college hockey in uh, they were making their presence felt. No, no doubt about it. I mean, it just really fires our team up every time we step on ice in front of that uh, student section. They're tremendous. I think it fires up the other team, too, a little bit. Yeah. Well, it does. I mean, you hear other teams saying that, uh, you know, Lawson's the toughest place to play, but also the best. There's a big goal by Hugh McGing and, you know, uh, goes off the defenseman skate and was able to beat Smith with it. But that was a big goal for us at that point. Broncos had the lead. Uh, at that point uh, in this hockey game, 4-3, uh, they would come back and tie it up, and you would regain the lead, Andy. You had the one-goal lead two different occasions in the third. Yeah, again, it's something that we have to deal with, and we have to be able to extend that lead and not just try to sit back and, and protect it. We thought we got a little bit too much on the back of our heels and need to continue to attack. All right, play continuing, and uh, the Broncos get on the board again. Dawson DiPietro working hard around the net. He's the Offensive Player of the Week in the NCAA. You know, D Dawson has, has got that offensive ability, and, you know, what a, what a great turnaround for him in his career. And came in as a freshman and really played one game last year and added a lot of muscle mass and just got a lot more explosive with his game, and it's really helped him on both ends of the rink. And skated through a scoreless overtime, and then they got the extra point by scoring in the double overtime. It ends officially in a 5-5 tie, and the two teams would meet again Saturday night. We'll have those highlights when we return for more Bronco Review after this time. You trust Dunchy Body and Frame for all your collision repair work, but they offer so much more, like paintless dent repair, brakes and wheel alignment, and perfect paint matching. 
Dunchy also works with all insurance companies to make sure your vehicle is restored to pre-accident condition. So for personal service and high quality workmanship, call Dunchy Body and Frame at 375-2100 or visit their website, dunchybody.com. Dunchy Body and Frame, part of your community since 1973. Whether it's your knee, back, or wrist, a small pain can be a big problem that affects everything you do. Ascension Care Teams at Borges take the time to listen because listening to you helps us see your whole picture. More conversation, more back and forth, more questions and answers. That's what helps us understand all aspects of you and your life. Find an orthopedic doctor who is right for you at Borges.com slash orthopedics. The people who accomplish so much are always striving to do even more. Now, with our help, they will. It's time for more. At Galesburg Ford, we all agree we love football. And I like the Honolulu blue and silver. Brown and gold all the way. I kind of like purple. We may all cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. That's to put you in the right car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford or a certified used vehicle, now you can score your next vehicle at Galesburg Ford. Touchdown! Galesburg Ford. Not too far for your next car. Choosing your home isn't easy. This is where your kids will draw on the walls, where the people you love will gather to laugh and cry. It's a big decision, which is why choosing your mortgage partner should be easy. With low rates and quick turnaround, Arbor Financial Credit Union can create a customized mortgage solution that is right for you. Visit us at arborfcu.org to find out more. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Di Pietro puts a shot on goal, and a rebound, they score, it's Michaelich! Two to one, Western Michigan! Di Pietro put it on goal, and Stoikowicz taps in the rebound. Senior Paul Stoikowicz with the big goal in the weekend series with St. Cloud. One of your four seniors, Andy, that uh, wrapping up their careers at Western Michigan. You know, we talked about that, the line of, of Paul Stoikowicz, Aiden Muir, and Richardson all being real solid for us on Friday night. And, you know, great to see Paul. He's, he's moved from defense to forward. He's become a real leader on our team and playing in special team situations out on the PK, out on the power play, and playing very well at this time of the year. Paul's ability to play offense or defense has really been a plus for you this year with the injuries you've had to play over. Well, being a, Ma a Manitoba Manitoba myself and Paul's from Manitoba, I like to think our hockey players up there are pretty smart, and Paul's certainly demonstrating that. But, uh, you know, certainly Paul in his senior year is having a lot of satisfaction. Skating team doing their thing, putting on a show for the crowd, and uh, they were all fired up, got their thunder sticks, and they're ready to get after St. Cloud. Well, as energetic as our crowd was on Friday night, I thought it was even better on Saturday night. It was just jammed in there. And, you know, much the same as what we expect this weekend with Duluth coming to town. And you got a top-rated program like St. Cloud, and now we've got Duluth coming in, who are probably the hottest team in college hockey right now. So but this was uh, another great game, a lot of pace, a lot of tempo to the game. All right, and uh, there was no scoring in the first period. Uh, shots were 15-13 St. Cloud, so goaltender's doing a good job and each team made a change in goal in this game. Yeah, we put in Austin Kane, a freshman, a big six foot four goaltender, and he looked really comfortable in the game and was moving laterally very well and covered a lot of the net and, uh, you know, uh, the game was there for us and, and in the third period we let it slip away, but without Austin certainly got us off to a great start. They went with uh, their other goaltender, David Rennick, and he did a solid job on the Broncos, but uh, once again, had to lead in the third period, Andy. We, we did. You know, we'd, we'd had to kill off a, a major penalty in the second period, and, you know, the guys battled through that. They got a goal, and we actually scored a shorthanded goal, a big one by Josh Basalt, and, you know, continued to battle. And, you, know, uh, you know, a great goal by Dawson DiPietro on a great play by Austin Ruschoff got us the lead. And unfortunately, again, we came out, I think, sat back too much. We talked all about having the puck and putting pressure on them, and we didn't do enough of it. And 
they got their legs going and found a way to beat us. Still seeing some of the highlights from the first period. There's a great scoring chance coming right down the middle and uh, unable to convert, but uh, you're getting to the net. That's what you want to see. Well, and that, that's the key for us right now. I mean, the idea of scoring some highly technical goals is probably not there for us with the present lineup we have, but we've got to play a, a gritty style where we get pucks into the blue paint, take the goaltender's eyes away, and bury some rebound opportunities. Pretty solid first period for Western Michigan against uh, top-rated St. Cloud Huskies on Saturday night after they skated to the 5-5 tie the previous night. And they get uh, things ready to go for the uh, second period. The uh, pep band was there, and here come the Broncos ready to go at it in period number two. And there was a lot of activity in the second period, three goals scored by the two teams. There was, and, you know, again, just a compliment to our, our pep band and, you know, the energy they provide for us, uh, the way they play the anthem, and just being there for us at all times is so important to the success and the energy that we have in our building. He came down and uh, get a shorthanded goal from Josh Basal. Just a real nice play by Cam Lee there as well. I thought Cam had a had an outstanding weekend there. And his game has just continued to get better. Andy, your freshmen have really provided some offense for you this year, and Josh now with seven goals. You no, know, Josh is a guy that that uh, has continued to get. There's that great play between Rushoff and Dawson DiPietro and Dawson Roofs. That one, but a great pass from Rushoff. No, we. I mean, it's been a matter of necessity, Robin. We came into the year knowing we were going to have to play a lot of freshmen, and they were going to have to step up and contribute. And they've certainly done that. So Dawson DiPietro with his 13th goal of the season, and he played in one game last year. Yeah, uh, again, uh, you know, just his, the, the muscle mass that he put on in the summer, his development, maturity as a player, and understanding the game a little bit better. I mean, it's, it's just paid off for him. And couldn't be happier. He's getting everything that he deserves. And he's one of your quicker players on the ice, too. He's, he's bullet quick. Like, he's got great acceleration, can really put pressure on the opposing team. And, you know, that's, that's kind of what our game is, is based on, is team speed, and he certainly uh, adds a lot to that. 2-1, Western Michigan with the lead after two periods of play, second night in a row. They went to the third, trying to hold off St. Cloud with that one-goal lead, and here's uh, some activity between periods, uh, getting the fans riled up, and uh, here we go, period number three. Broncos trying to get uh, the victory over St. Cloud at home, but it wasn't to be. Well, you know, it, it's interesting. The first four or five minutes of this period, neither team was getting chances. It was being played in the neutral zone, and then we made a mistake on a turnover in their zone. It ended up in a, in a rush opportunity where they took, a, took an outside shot, and unfortunately it beat, it beat Austin Kane. And from that point on, after that 2-2 goal that they got, we just didn't seem to have the, the mental fortitude to, to get those legs going, put pressure on them. And, you know, they had the puck a lot, and that's the nature of their game. I mean, we knew coming into the weekend, uh, when you're playing St. Cloud, you got to have the puck, and in the third period, we didn't have it enough. They got the tying goal from Jack Paling, Ryan Paling and Nick Paling combined on that goal, all three brothers on yeah, that tying yeah, goal. Yeah, a couple of twin brothers who are about 5'11", and then uh, uh, the younger one is about 6'4", first-round draft pick in Montreal. But, you know, they found a way to to get the job done and you know it's, it was a disappointed group that came back to the dressing because of how much we invested in terms of effort and energy in the weekend. Big third period by St. Cloud and they skate away with a 4-2 Saturday night win. We'll be back with more Bronco Review after this time up. Maple Hill is proud to be a Subaru dealer. Subaru, it is like no other. Because of the 35 miles per gallon that you get in the summer, and the all-wheel drive in the winter, the five-star crash test ratings, the recommendations year after year from the best consumer magazines out there. Own it and you'll say, I love my Subaru. At Maple Hill Subaru, it is a journey like no other. A part of being a member at Arbor Financial Credit Union is the relationships and personal attention you get from our helpful and knowledgeable staff. But we realize you don't always have time for that. With Arbor Financial's secure mobile app, you can quickly check your balance, pay a bill, deposit a check, or find an ATM. In between, well, everything else. Visit us online at arborfcu.org for more information. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Does your home need a facelift? You should call BlackBerry. 
For over 35 years, BlackBerry's been improving the look of homes throughout West Michigan with new roofing and siding. Right now, save 50% off the installation of new roofing and siding from BlackBerry, featuring the Owens Coring Duration Shingle and Mastic Vinyl Siding. 50% off installation of roofing and siding and pay no interest for 18 months. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. Uverse gives you a whole bunch of on-demand TV shows and movies. Let's get started. Well, how many is a whole bunch? As many as Xfinity? I swear you're gonna love it. That didn't really answer my question. Over 5,000 on demand. Well, Xfinity on demand gives us over 30,000. We'll set it up for you. Don't settle for Uverse. Get over five times more on-demand TV shows and movies on TV with Xfinity from Comcast. Caesars has introduced the extra most bestest pizza, a large pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni for six bucks. This affects the pizza economy, causing demand for Little Caesars to skyrocket and employment to enter a pizza boom. Where will Little Caesars get all these new employees? Oh. That's where. Get the new Little Caesars Extra Most Bestest Pizza. A large pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni for just six bucks. Pizza, pizza. Bouncing puck picked up there by McGing. Hugh with a shot. He scores! Hugh McGing from side of Jeff Smith and the Broncos take a 4-3 to three lead. Hugh McGing with a snapshot past the netminder. Sophomore forward Hugh McGing, one of the toughest players in college hockey. Scored his ninth goal of the season in the Friday night game, and he was as tough as nails. He's not the biggest cat out there, but he is tough. He was just a fierce competitor and, and plays with energy, and every time we play an opposing team, we talk to the coaches. They notice him out there, and, you know, he finishes checks. He competes. He plays in all situations, play more, plays more minutes than any of our forwards because he's on PP, power penalty killing, and plays a regular shift, but a, a strong character guy. Had some really good games against St. Cloud this year. In fact, scored three of his nine goals against Coach Motzko, who made him the final cut for Team USA going to the World Junior Tournament in December. Well, I think uh, certainly uh, Hugh enjoyed scoring against St. Cloud, and, and uh, you know Bob Motzko, I'm sure, would admit now that that was a mistake, not having Hugh on the team. Uh, we know how much he means to our program, and uh, just a highly energetic, intelligent guy that's uh, also an outstanding student is in our pre-med program. And just one of a slew of young players that are... Uh, the building blocks for this hockey team going forward, Andy? Well, as you know, Rob, we lost so many underclassmen last year to National Hockey League contracts, and we knew this year would be a real young group. And, you know, our, our sophomore class and our freshman class is huge. Uh, we have four seniors and five juniors, and other than that, we're Luth. That's right. Uh, two regular season home games wrapping up the schedule at Lawson Arena, and we'll come back and look ahead to this upcoming series with Minnesota Duluth after a timeout on Bronco Review. Staying with a standard checking account isn't much different than stashing your money in a piggy bank. A momentum checking account from Arbor Financial Credit Union is like strapping a rocket to your piggy bank and launching it to higher earnings. With momentum checking, the more you use your debit card, the more interest you can earn. Up to 4% APY on balances up to $15,000. Visit arborfcu.org to find out more. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Whether it's your knee, back, or wrist, a small pain can be a big problem that affects everything you do. Ascension Care Teams at Borges take the time to listen because listening to you helps us see your whole picture. More conversation, more back and forth, more questions and answers. That's what helps us understand all aspects of you and your life. Find an orthopedic doctor who is right for you at Borges.com slash orthopedics. At Gales Ford, we're getting geared out for fall. So if your goal is to be driving a new car, rush on down to Galesburg Ford. You can't afford to pass up these great deals on a new car or truck at Galesburg Ford. New 2018 models are arriving daily. Come out and visit us at Galesburg Ford. We're located one mile north of I-94, exit 85, halfway between Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. When it comes to your next vehicle, our team has you covered at Galesburg Ford. Not too far for your next car. Hey, I'm Carter Osterhaus. You're gonna love banking with Lake Michigan Credit Union. It's the one place where you'll always get great rates and the best service. 
Take advantage of Lake Michigan Credit Union's Max Equity Loans. It's the perfect way to affordably finance home improvements, repairs, and new appliances using the equity in your home. Anyone can open an account. I did. Lake Michigan Credit Union, the best place for your money. Bruce up to the net, shoots, hit the post, rebound, side of the goal, he scores! Dawson DiPietro, backhand, beats Jeff Cutler, 225 left, and the Broncos take a 5-4 to four lead. Dawson DiPietro, one of those young Broncos, providing some offense for Western Michigan, and they'll need that kind of play against a really good opponent coming in this weekend. Final home games of the regular season at Lawson Arena when the Broncos take on Minnesota Duluth Friday and Saturday at Lawson Ice Arena. It's also senior weekend. The seniors will be honored before the Saturday night game. And uh, this Duluth team, Andy, you split with early in the season. Well, it's a tremendous team. And obviously, I think, believe since Christmas, they might have the best record in college hockey. I mean, they're just playing real hard, uh, strong with the puck. They've got five players on their team that played on the U.S. World Junior Championship team, a young, very mobile group of defensemen and some quick physical forwards there. And their goaltender, Shepard, has really found his game as well. Had a couple of shutouts last weekend. So every game we have against Duluth is a battle, and we expect the same this weekend. And it's important for the fans to get out there and root for this team because, Andy, the games are winding down and you're two points out of home ice right now for the first round of the playoffs. These games are crucial. Well, our goal is to be one point ahead after Friday night's game, and we're focusing on that first one. And, you know, it's an opportunity for us, obviously, throughout the weekend to, to show off our seniors. It's senior weekend as well, special moment on Saturday night. I think Bronco, the Broncos do it better than anybody in terms of recognizing their seniors. And, you know, we're excited about the opportunity to beat Duluth. We're excited about the opportunity to recognize these seniors who've done so much for our program. Two programs that play a similar style of game, too. You know, very physical, uh, very pro style. Uh, both lineups have a lot of guys who are going to be professional hockey players in the future. And, uh, you know, Scott Sandlin is a good friend, but he's a fierce competitor. I actually coached him during his pro days as well there as well. So uh, great relationship, but a couple of real tough teams going at each other this weekend. Andy, good luck this weekend. Thank you. The Broncos in Minnesota Duluth Friday night at 7 o'clock and Saturday night at 7 o'clock at Lawson Arena. Get there early on Saturday for the pregame ceremonies honoring the four Western Michigan seniors. And we'll be back next week for all the highlights of the Broncos and the Bulldogs right here on Bronco View. For our staff, for Coach Murray, I'm Robin Hook. Thanks for watching. See you next week.